Hello, I'm Dr. Abstract. And let's code with Zim. We're going to make a new list. So new, oops, lowercase new, list with an uppercase. And we will dot center that. So Zim's got a bunch of components. This is one of them. There it is where you can scroll through and uh, get some options. So let's find out what we've pressed on and we'll store that in a label. So we'll call this one const list is equal to and then we will make this const label is equal to a new label. And note, note that the classes have uppercase letters and the variable names we're using are lowercase or you can call them whatever you want. Um, but don't call them the same thing with uppercase. So we're making a new label here and we will make it align in the center. Oh, capital C-E-E-N-T-E-R. And we still need to position that. So we'll dot pose that at ah, zero from the middle. How about 50 from the bottom? And this is then from the center and the bottom like that. Okay, so we have a label there, but when we press on this, when the list changes, we want that label to say something else. We can actually start with the label starting with text, colon, quote, quote. So nothing in the label to start. Okay, and now what we'll do is we will say dot change. So when the list changes, we will call this arrow function. And this is a JavaScript arrow function. It just means between this block of code, we're going to do that stuff. And the stuff we're going to do is we're going to say label.text is equal to list.text. So when this changes, please set the label's text to the list.text. Ready? Oh, isn't that amazing? I'm Dr. Abstract. If you want to try this too or any of the other components, come to zimjazz.com slash teaser. And if you hit the little Z up top, you can go find out all about Zim and how many components it have. And we're going to show you some in these, in these teasers as well. So uh, look forward to that. Talk to you later. Cheers.